Hi guys. I know the light's on one side. I never quite figured it out in here. Um, today is my three month bump date. I am 13 weeks pregnant today or this week. Um, and things have been going really good. I am solidly like officially in the second trimester now. Um, I've started feeling second trimester good, um, at 11 weeks. Is it only two weeks ago? Man, it feels like it's been forever because like time has just slowed down. Um, I've been able to like do things and enjoy things more. Life has just been a lot better since, um, my fatigue let up and it really was all just like one day we had a flu like a stomach flu over the weekend and then Monday I was still kind of iffy but Tuesday I woke up feeling amazing so the second trimester kicked in at the same time as we got over that stomach bug and it just it was like a whole new world opened up it's great all right so let's look at some stats um, at 13 weeks, baby is about two inches, um, two, maybe two and a half inches long, about the size of like a lemon or apparently about the size of a Tamagotchi. I don't know. I saw that. That seems a little bit small to me. I, I think it's eh, roughly, yeah, that's crown to rump. So legs are additional. Um, getting pretty big. I think that I felt some kicks, but it's hard to say. Um, let's see, developmentally, apparently started working on swallowing. So that's uh, an important skill that he'll be practicing throughout pregnancy until, uh, you know, he learns how to eat. I'm saying he, but we don't know yet. We're going to find out the gender um, at the end of April. So in my five month bump date, you will find out if not sooner. Um, I, yeah, like I said, my symptoms have been great. Um, I've actually, I still am down from my pre-pregnancy weight uh, by about a pound and a half. Um, I think I've actually lost weight since my last bump date. I don't know if that's, maybe I just don't eat enough. Maybe it's partially due to the fact that I have started exercising now that I'm feeling a little bit more energized. Um, I've been exercising every morning, so I feel like it's a little soon. It's only been like a week and a half. I feel like it's a little soon for that to be showing results in my weight, but who knows. But um, I am showing a little bit. I, I started really showing around nine weeks. You can see I have a little bit of a bump going, um, and it just, it just makes me happy to have a little something that's there when I rub my stomach, <laughs> to have something that's actually showing. And um, as a result, some of my coworkers have started to notice. I kind of let it slip out through the grapevine a little bit. Um, I only announced to like two people that I work the most closely with. And then I let kind of the, the rumor mill work for the rest of the office. Besides HR, obviously, they know. Um, but I kind of just don't want to make like a big deal out of announcing. It feels kind of weird to me to be like, hello, now pay attention to me. You know, because like some people might not care that I'm having a second kid. You know, they're not, it's not where they are in their lives and it doesn't matter. Um, some people care too much. And that also is awkward. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's all, it's life. You live with your coworkers. Um, but other than that, work's going great. Now that I, I'm able to concentrate a little bit more, I'm feeling a lot more on top of things. Um, cravings milkshakes uh this is the same as last time i craved anything cold um but specifically milkshakes i've been making a lot of them for myself i got myself a um nutribullet or the magic bullet the cheaper one the, the magic bullet i think is the cheaper one it was on sale like 50 percent off at walmart so i got it for like 20 bucks or something um and i've been making a lot of like i made a lot of smoothies early on because that was something that i could have w through morning sickness um but I've been using it for milkshakes lately and it makes me really happy. Um, no real aversions right now. Um, I actually, my coffee aversion is gone and I'm not drinking coffee again. And that just makes me so happy. I've uh, been able to drink my morning cup. And then if, my, if I'm feeling a little bit, you know, foggy or hazy in the afternoon, I might have a second cup. And that's something that I'm actually like enjoying um, so that's, that's really nice. It's the little things like just being able to enjoy coffee. You didn't realize was a gift until it was gone. Um, the other thing that I've been having 
or just kind of recently started, uh, it was checking out non-alcoholic beer. Uh, yeah, it's actually not too bad anymore. I got two from BevMo. One was a porter, and I'm kind of iffy about it. It tasted a little bit off to me, like something was missing. Um, but then I tried a, a fruit-flavored wheat beer, a mango cart from a, um, Golden Road Brewing. It's an L.A. company. If you're local, you may have heard of them. Um, the mango cart that they have is really good, but they have a non-alcoholic version, and it really just scratched that itch. I had a can with uh, with my pizza the other night, and it was uncanny. Like it, it tasted a little bit different, but it tasted similar enough to a real wheat beer that by the time I finished the can, it felt weird to me that I wasn't buzzed. Um, so I really enjoyed that, and I'm going to be trying out a couple more. Um, to, to see what I like because I am a big fan of beer and that's one of the bummers uh, about not being able to drink. Um, prepping, doing, uh, like I said, I did start exercising. I joined a program called Mama Strong. Um, there, are, It's a website and it's a whole set of video exercises. There's brand new ones every day and they have different programs for um, pregnancy, postpartum, and then just general motherhood. Um, so it focuses on a woman's body and like focuses on stability and strength and like your pelvic floor and um, it feels like it's going to be a really good thing for me, um, especially since I really want to have a VBAC this time. I had a scheduled C-section because my last baby was breech um, and this time I really would like to have a natural delivery maybe, um, vaginal hopefully, and um, I feel like just doing some exercises and really working on that area, working on my whole body and my stamina um, are things that are going to be really helpful for me in achieving that goal um, because previously I really have never been an exerciser. It just, it hurts and I don't like it and so I kind of don't. But now I'm in my 30s, I am starting to feel like my body is trying to tell me something. Um, you know, I need to take a little bit better care of it, look at my diet, look at my activity levels. And so I think it's time. It's time for me to start exercising. And this program has been working really well for me. It's only 15 minutes or less every day. Um, and it's only $5 a month. And I feel like that's something that I can fit into my budget and my life. So every morning I have been exercising since the beginning of this month. So only a couple weeks, but I feel like I'm going to be able to stick it out. And I'm really happy. So if you're interested in that, you can check out Mama Strong, M-O-M-M-A strong.com. I don't no sponsorship, no affiliate link or referral link or anything. Um, just, I think that it's a really cool program if you're interested. Um, other like prep stuff. I have, uh, been looking at gear. Um, I don't know if, if anyone wants to like throw us a shower, but I did go ahead and create a registry on Amazon, um, with all of the lists. I had previously had like a list of ideas of things that I'd kind of like to try for the next one. So whenever I thought of something, um, that I wish I had had for Agnes or that I thought I would need for having a second child, I added it to that list. And so that is now an official registry. Um, and it's got quite a bit of stuff on there. It's got a double stroller that we're looking at. It's got a second crib and a second pack and play. And, you know, just a couple of things on there that I know um, I want to try with a second that like I never got around to trying with the first. Like we never had a bouncer, but I always kind of felt like I wanted one. That kind of thing. Um, I also have made my first purchase for baby number two, which is um, a few pre-loved newborn size diaper covers. Um, we cloth diaper and we did newborn cloth with Agnes. Um, we, only, we had pre-folds and covers. If you're familiar with cloth diapers at all, you know what this is. Pre-folds and covers, um, but we only had Rumperoos covers and it drove me nuts. They have a tag sewn right in the back, right above or right below the um, the top, you know, right, right square in the back. And, uh, it would leak. The, the tags would be a point of weakness where the PUL would leak out the back whenever she had a full diaper. And, you know, she spends a lot of that newborn time laying on her back. And so it was just leaking straight out the back. And I found that super frustrating. So we have only Rumperoos covers and I thought of just getting rid of them. I don't think I'm going to get rid of them, at least until after this one, and if we find out we like different ones better. 
but I did pick up um, a lot of three new uh, in two different brands. I think one Blueberry and two Imagine Baby. One with Velcro, which I've never tried either. I do love snaps, but um, maybe if the people in my life around me like Velcro, then it would be something to look into uh, for the future because I know that that can be good for newborns. Um, I have a couple other cloth diaper videos that you can check out. Search on my channel if you're interested. I will probably be making a couple more. Um, but that, that, I'm going to stop, put that aside for now, but just that is my first purchase for baby number two. Uh, let's see, concerns for the coming month and goals. Yeah, so last month I said that my goal for this month was to start feeling like myself again, and I am. It's great. Um, so I want to just kind of keep that going. Um, I, I want to just, you know, keep keep pushing forward. I want to keep exercising. I want to really work on tidying up things around the house. I've been organizing some stuff. Um, the linen closet has never really been properly organized even since we moved in. So I just spent this last weekend organizing all the towels and then the bottom half um, I was able to set aside and that's going to be toy storage as soon as I can move all the toys in there. So that's sort of my project for this month that I'm working on. Um, is there anything else I put down in my notes? Yeah, this second trimester is just a really good time for me, uh, like physically. Um, I remember this from the first pregnancy that I, I just feel really good um, in the second trimester. I like that I'm showing a little bit, but it's not like weight gain to the point where I'm having trouble moving. I just have to be a little bit careful. Um, did I mention in the last video or was that since then that... Um, I actually have started to have a little sciatica and a little SPD pain already. That's something that didn't hit until um, the second half of my pregnancy, the first time around. Um, so that's something that I'm being really careful of and just making sure to just watch what my legs are doing when I'm getting in and out of the car, in and out of bed and stuff like that. Um, so I'm just trying to take care of myself, but uh, take advantage of this time that I have right now. Um, also, just trying not to be too anxious looking forward. I know that, you know, all this virus stuff going around um, is a little bit scary. Only, like, I'm not worried about what would happen if we got it. Honestly, it feels like life would just be better if we got it. And then we would all survive and it would be fine. And then we'd be immune. But the problem with that would be that our roommate is over 60 and has uh, asthma. So she's at a higher risk. So we have to try to keep it out of our house. And so I don't know what society is gonna be looking like. We live in Southern California, which is an area that has community spread. So I feel like at some point, it's not unlikely that we might have some sort of social distancing procedures and policies in place, um, you know, being asked to not leave, having um, just, you know, events and, places that I was hoping that I would be able to go with my daughter over my maternity leave um, canceled, you know, uh, I don't know if we're, I feel like we're probably not going to be able to go to Comic-Con, you know, um, we might not be able to do swimming lessons, who knows, and like once I go on maternity leave in August through the fall, when the weather starts getting colder again and flu season kicks in again, you know, I feel like I'm going to be cooped up in the house. And I know that on my last maternity leave, being able to leave the house, like every day or two, every other day, I tried to just get out of the house, whether that was just going to the grocery store or going to the library or whatever, even if it was just going for a walk, like that might be my only option if we're trying to stay away from crowded places with a newborn during flu season with COVID going around. So who knows what the the world is going to look like in another few months and I guess that's the thing that just kind of bums me out is that I was really looking forward to maternity leave and now I feel like I can't look forward to it and enjoy looking forward to it as much like that's been taken away from me so I'm not trying to panic or panic anybody else obviously you hear it from everybody and like when I mentioned this on reddit I got like half of the people saying that I was crazy and equating me with you know overstocking on toilet paper and the other half say no absolutely it's going to be a major issue so it's like who knows who knows no one does that's the point so on that very somber note I'm feeling great and I'm loving life and I'm loving my pregnancy 
<laughs> so thank you for joining me for my three month bump date. Subscribe so you don't miss these. I'll be posting them around the middle of every month until the baby comes. Um, other than that, I post planner videos on Thursdays and family lifestyle stuff on Sundays. So I will see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.